where we have a special all-star edition of aesthetics. The uniforms for the third time in a row have basically team, local team themed jerseys featuring the green and blue of the Mariners to highlight that city. Uh, the American League had the deep blue, or I'm sorry, they had the seafoam green with white pants. Ooh. The National League had like ocean, deep blue, sea, uh, navy jerseys and pants uh, with you know National League nationals written across the chest. So the team, the actual individual team branding was really hard to see. There was a a patch on the sleeve you know, to identify what team they were actually playing from. Uh, the hats had the logo of the individual teams as well, but they were like on a weird mint colored hat. I thought it was khaki when I first saw it. And uh, apparently you, you noticed that it was. Yeah. Mint, well, mint I knew color it was right away. But... Yeah. Just cause I saw it in an advertisement. So it wasn't right. like I even considered another color. I don't know about you, but it, it drives me crazy because, first of all, I love the old tradition where the you know the team the players wear their team uniforms. They wear, you know, home or road, whether they're the National League or home or American League. But it's just an easy visual. The, the main problem I have with it is you. I can't tell who players are right away. You have to really pay attention to what's going on. You have to. You also have to rely on the graphics on screen to tell you who's who's pitching or who's fielding, who's come in or come out of the game because you know that's not really it happens more in that game than any other game so you need more help than any other game to know who's actually on the field so i had a hard time identifying maybe not everybody does but it, it drove me crazy I don't, what did you have a problem uh, here's here's what i think they should do they should they should meet in the middle mm. and this would be great great for jersey sales i think they started i think they specifically are wearing them during the games the last few years because of jersey sales cuz yep, you're right why would you why would you buy a jersey that's only worn during uh the home run hitting contest by the way those were the authentics were selling for close to 500 bucks oh really yeah so there i guess there's a market there if they if they could charge that much for them yeah but like i i mean but my thought is what they should do is you can have your, you can have the the colors, but just do make a version of that jersey for each team's jersey. And that's similar to what they did last year. The the big difference this year is it said American or National across the chest. Last year in Los Angeles, you, like the Cubs actually had the Cubs logo. It was in black and gold, like the rest of the jerseys. Yeah, okay, maybe that's why I'm thinking about that. Then. I thought, yeah. yeah, so those those were definitely better. So it's getting worse now that they're making them even more generic, I think. But I think I think you're right. If they would just go back to that, where the team, the individual team branding was a little more obvious. So you just know you had a little bit more of an indicator of who the fuck we're looking at right away. Because wasn't it, the, maybe it was, what's the first year they did it? Where was that one at? Uh, that would have been, I think that was Colorado two years ago. That one, I Those think were, they were also American and national no, and, they the, had, and the logo was on the sleeve. No, they had, they just had small logos on the chest. They didn't have anything oh, across. So it was small logos on the chest. Yeah. And they were fucked up. It, it was, they were awful, but this is the first time they just, they've actually yeah. said American or national, which made them even more generic. And I mean, why not? Identify. Yeah, why not just literally take a, a a Sox jersey, and what was the what was their colors there? Sea foam. I don't know. Sea foam, well, navy blue, basically. Yeah, 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 and make it and make the patch navy. Let's just say navy blue and navy blue stripes, and call it a day. And then yeah. the Cubs instead of royal blue is navy blue. I like, think that'd I be mean, cool. And that's I think it would be cool. And you might even you might be like shit. That's a badass jersey or whatever, and you're gonna buy it then. Yeah, is anyone really no, excited to say, you know, American? Do they have their American League legion, you know, allegiance? Yeah. You like, want to make I, that loud and proud? I, I have an American Abreu t-shirt. That oh, I I've seen that. It's of, red. It was, yeah, because it was like eight ninety nine. That's when I bought it. <laughs> and I didn't have any Abreu stuff at the time. So I'm like, ah, I'll get this, get this bad boy for eight ninety nine. But, like, I would never buy a jersey that has that on it. I mean... 
I, I think it's it's for a generation, maybe two generations after us. I think it's for the kids. They they're selling them to somebody. I guess, yeah. And they, like you said, they figured out they they could sell more if they wore them during the All Star game than wearing them during the home run derby, like they used to. I love that. That was that was the best. If you're gonna do some goofy jersey, do it in the home run derby. But I guess I understand if they're trying to trying to sell them if they're making them. It just make it's making the broadcast worse. And I think that that's a short sighted mistake there because you know the, the All Star MLB All Star game is the most popular of all four sports by far. And if they're making it harder to watch and harder to understand what's going on, I think they're, they're that popularity is going to erode. It just seems yeah. penny wise and pound foolish to me. But maybe a compromise is if they want to do their goofy jerseys, everyone still wears their regular hat, you know, their team hat in, the, in their team colors. And yeah, that could work too. Yeah, it might exactly. kind of clash with everything else. But I, again, I didn't think the mint hats last night looked very good anyway. So, well, I ordered you one. <laughs> Yeah, they had they put like the team logo. Then they had like a star, like for the Mariners, you know, navigation star up, yeah. up above the team logo, which was kind of goofy. I, I'm giant sure there's an explanation all-star. somewhere. Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't bother with that. But there's a giant All Star patch with like a chevron pattern on on the side. It was obnoxious, but I don't know. It gives gives us a reason to create an aesthetic segment. So thank you, MLB. Media.